The Dance of the Dragons has begun. There is no worse battle than a war between families, and the Targaryens have become the worst version of themselves. The desire for power and revenge has started a chain effect, which will not end until all of Westeros is under dragon fire. In the past few hours, a new trailer for the second season of House of the Dragon has been released. One that shows part of Daemon's plan, and even Rhaenyra's dragon ready to fight. In this video, we'll be analyzing all the images in this new trailer, and what it could mean for this new season of House of the Dragon. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this video, as a celebration of the arrival of the second season of House of the Dragon, we will be giving away the book Fire and Blood, along with a Funko Pop of House of the Dragon. To participate, all you have to do is tell me which side you support, Rhaenyra's or Aegon's, and why. The winner will be announced the day of the premiere of the second season of House of the Dragon, this coming June 16th. This preview begins by showing us the Iron Throne. We can see that two flags of the green side now adorn the throne room. Little by little, the Usurper King's side has begun to change the appearance of the castle. We begin by listening to a few words from Rhaenys who says, There is no war so hateful as a war between kin, and no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Rhaenys knows very well that a fight between these two sides could destroy the kingdom. As Rhaenys says these words, we are shown the first two images of the leaders of both sides. Rhaenyra's side is the black side, which is why we see her wearing black and a red cloak. We can see determination in her look. However, we are shown a scene of Aegon II seated on the throne, wearing the crown of Aegon the Conqueror, as the other crown is held by Rhaenyra, the one that belonged to her father Viserys. We see him dressed in green, and he seems to be very comfortable sitting on the throne. Then we see the first images of the battle at Rook's Rest. This is perhaps one of the most epic battles in the books, and we will not talk about it in depth yet. We can only mention that some people like Rhaenys, Aegon, Aemond, and possibly Bela will engage in combat. In one of our next videos, we will be talking about how this battle happened in the books, and how we think it will be changed in the series. But let's continue to analyze this teaser. We can hear Alicent mention that the crown will seek victory at any cost, while showing several scenes of the people marching to war. What happens with this, is that Alicent most likely is meeting with Otto, trying to find a peaceful way to end the approaching crisis. Alicent knows very well that what happened with Lucerys is something that Rhaenyra will not forgive, and it is also the perfect excuse that Daemon needed to have the support of many families in Westeros. Alicent is being very cautious, but she knows that the Crown must seek victory, otherwise they will all be destroyed. We then move on to a scene where Daemon is saying that they will march to King's Landing to take the throne. It is not very clear who is with Daemon, but we can see that Daemon is wearing the armor of war, and is ready for battle. This means that the first plan of the rogue prince is to attack King's Landing. But as he says his words, we can see the army of the Greens approaching, which leads us to understand that although Daemon is planning to attack King's Landing, the reality is that the Crown is also looking to attack and avoid the civil war that is forming. We see the first image of what appears to be Amond at Harrenhal, one of the places the Prince will travel to during the dance. In this preview, we see him planning his actions against his uncle, and preparing his combat strategy with the help of Sir Criston Cole. We also see Daemon heading into the catacombs, down to the place where Vermithor is located. A dragon we saw in the first season, who currently has no rider. The reason Daemon is looking for Vermithor is because he is trying to get him as a weapon for the black side, and thus have a military advantage over the greens. 
We then hear Amon say that if Damon dares to face him, he will accept the challenge. As he says these words, we are shown scenes of the battle, and we even see Bela on a dragon. This is something that many have highlighted as a change from what the books have told. We have a theory about this scene, but we will talk about this in another video. We move on to an image of Cyrax surrounded by men on the seashore. Although we might think this is Dragonstone, it is possible that this is the shore of Storm's End, and that Cyrax is here, because Rhaenyra is trying to find Lucerys, or what is left of him. We move on to a scene in which Rhaenyra is looking up earnestly at what appears to be a dragon. Then we can see an image of Rhaenys on her dragon melees, while Rhaenyra mentions that she fears what has begun. We see that Rhaenys is wearing her black and red armor, and she is heading somewhere, perhaps towards a battle. The Dance of the Dragons will be one of the most violent events in the history of Westeros, and maybe we are not ready to witness what will happen. Now, this trailer focused on the big battle we will have this season. One in which we will see important players fighting with dragons, and which will not be a fight with as much disadvantage as the one between Lucerys and Amond. This time, both sides will have a chance. And I suspect that Rhaenyra's side has a new card up its sleeve that no one expects. Even the readers of the books. I think Baila will be a surprise and unexpected element during this battle. Something that will be different from the books. But something that we think could add more excitement to the story. As we could see two dragons against two dragons at the same time. Although of course one of those dragons is Vagar perhaps the most dangerous and experienced of all. This teaser has filled us with much excitement and anticipation about this upcoming battle, and we hope that the best side will be the victor. We are less than three weeks away from the premiere of House of the Dragon, and on this channel, we will be discussing all the topics we have addressed over the past year in preparation for this series. So if there is any topic from the story of A Song of Ice and Fire that you would like us to discuss in the next videos, in preparation for the new season of House of the Dragon, drop the suggestion in the comments. And of course, we will be here for the premiere of the series this coming June 16th, to discuss all the secrets and interesting details of that episode. So if you want to know more about the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones, the House of the Dragon and soon the Hedge Knight. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.